Welcome to Anglo.js tutorials from wikitiki.com. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the modules, scope and controllers. These areas we are going to discuss. And these are the important interview questions they will ask in the interview related to Anglo.js 2. My name is Venkat. I am a Microsoft Most Valuable Professional. You are able to see my profile in Microsoft.com. And I got almost 16 international awards. Among that, 9 awards are from Microsoft. In this video tutorial, I am going to talk about the modules in AngularJS. AngularJS module, it incorporates a service, configurations, directives, filters and controller. A module can be an application or it can be a collection of components that can be injected into other modules. In Angular, that's the way we group related things together so that we can get benefit from its dependency injection system. You are able to see I created a module and these are the scopes I am trying to incorporate into the controller and I am using it in the module. So in common an AngularJS module defines an application. So the module is said to be the container for the different parts of an application. The module is said to be the container for the application controller. So module is the container for the application controllers. So the controllers will be belongs to a module by default. So module will be having the configurations, filters, directives, factory service provider and value and finally controller. Next I am going to talk about the scope. So your scope is an object that refers to the application model. It is used to bind the HTML and the controller. In the controller you got your data which is placed in scope and I am trying to make it display in the HTML view. So binding your controller and the view is done using scope. It plays a role of linking controller with the views. Let me go back to the example. So here is a small piece of code I have written. I got my head tag and the body tag. By basic, like we need to add this script, this particular path, to include the library of googleapis.com. And afterwards, I got my app, the app is my app, and my controller, it's a module controller. So I got another script over here. I'm trying to create the module. So I created an app variable which is equal to angular.module of my app. For your application, I created a module. Into that module, I'm going to try to include the controller which got a lot of scope variables. So app.controller, I'm trying to take the module controller name so that this data will get binded here. So model controller and this is the standard syntax of function scope. So this is the scope variable I am using. So dollar scope dot first word equal to welcome. Second word is two and scope is third word is AngularJS tutorials. If I try to execute this particular piece of code, you are able to see it here. Welcome to AngularJS Tutorials. Now I am trying to change a little bit. Welcome to Winkert AngularJS Tutorials. I saved it. So the scope is taken as controller here and it is bounded here. I will go back and run my code. You got it. 
this is how the scope variables are so create an app include the controller and create a module for that app into that module put the controllers so binding all the controller data into a single app via the module and this data will be displayed as view here HTML this is how your AngularJS modules and scope will work so coming back here you are able to see the view is here the view is here and the controller is here scope will bind the view and the controller so AngularJS scope is here view is here controller is there it can have view model and data models everything is bounded between these two so as I told the scope is accessible for both the view and the controller controller can access view can access the scopes are organized in hierarchical structure which imitate the DOM structure of the applications here is the scope tree you can have multiple scopes and you can use it so this is the parent scope under that you got the child scope so now let's talk about the controller in AngularJS a controller is defined by a JavaScript constructor function like this that is used to enhance the angular scope here is the syntax where var you can give any variable name is equal to angular.module of module name comma you will be having brackets and the variable name dot controller app dot controller and you can give the controller name comma the functions you can specify this is the syntax of your controller so AngularJS controllers tend to control the data of AngularJS applications AngularJS controllers are considered to be regular JavaScript objects and it is controlled by the controllers so AngularJS applications are controlled by the controllers ng iPhone controller directive in AngularJS describe the application controller so a controller is a JavaScript object which is created by a standard JavaScript object constructor you are able to see here you can have control multiple controllers created like this a controller 1 for view 1 controller 2 for view 2 you can have multiple controllers and multiple views and here is the MVC pattern so what the user sees is called view HTML the control logic and adaptation between the model and the view and this is the application data this is how the MVC pattern is as I told it's a JavaScript object which contains attributes and functions by using specific controllers constructor function angular will initiate a new controller object and a new child scope is available as injectable parameter to the controllers constructor function as scope here is the functions and this is called attributes in AngularJS controller scope is act as a parameter which is used to refer the application module to switch the controllers going back I am going to talk about the creating the module so as I told module is a kind of, kind of a container for an app and it is being created using angular.module here is the syntax so from the same example my wikitiki app parameter tends to refer to an HTML element in which our angularjs function is going to execute 
and here is the model created for my Wikitiki app so that we can add the controller, directors, filters and much more to our AngularJS application. So here is the typical example which I have shown you before. So specify ng controller here and use the controller here module ctrl and use it here to specify the data or information or functions for this controller. Put it in the module and use it. Here is a simple piece of code which we have written to bind your controller with the model and view. So m this is the model, this is view and this is c, m, v, c. That's the pattern we are constructing. So let's go back to the example. This is the one. I got my model here and I got my view to display the data. And here is the controller. So M V C. We are able to get the pattern. Now, what is the procedure they are doing it? You are able to see it here. The data which is given here. Let me show you the output first. This is the one. So I got my model and this is the view and these two are bounded via the controller. You can see the thing input type text ng model name this is a name and this is email and this is the view to be displayed here. You can change it here automatically what are the changes I am doing it here model it is displayed here in the view via a simple concept of controller here. So I made ng app so let me go back to the initial thing. So I made my HTML tag with the head tag and the script tag. I am trying to include my libraries here and afterwards I got my div tag here. So I put it as ng app is the application I have created and there is a controller ngctrl and I got my two parameters name and email which is nothing but the text boxes the controls and whatever data this guy is having put it here that's your view this one is model and this one is view now coming back here I put a script tag for the controller I created a module and initiating a module for this ng app and I'm creating my controller and the controller name is the same and I'm going to give you a function which is nothing but a scope related function so I got two variables name and email so I got my name as a wikitiki and my email this values will get loaded here in model so this one this one is bounded automatically everything is bounded let me check it out I'll refresh my page Venkat Wikitiki here the same thing you got the data this is your model this is your view and controller bound both the things that's how it will work so here is the explanation for individual piece of coding we had given for your reference and this is the output which I have shown you before so if you talk about the do's and don'ts of controller scope object is said to be an initial state of the AngularJS controllers behavior is added to the scope object and this is one of the very important questions using AngularJS form control for inputs AngularJS filters for filter the output and uh, AngularJS services for sharing the code or state across controllers 
these are the properties of a controller we talk about domes mounted dom controller contain only trade logic or placing any presentation logic into the controller signal affects its accessibility we should not use any input controls other than angular js form controls we should not use any type of filter other than angular js filters the same thing you so have to use angular js filters and angular js forms and we should not share any sh- share code or state across controller other than angular js services you have to use angular js form control use angular js filter and use angular js services simple that's it thanks for watching our wikidig technology videos on angular js if you're looking for more videos go to youtube.com search for wikidig technology tutorials for school it's wikidig school and finally for wikidigi interview tips or interview related stuff in youtube apart from this like uh, this is our website uh, to learn all the technical contents and you can subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos apart from this like uh, if you have if you are interested to get more videos from us uh, include our whatsapp number this is a number in your group in your whatsapp group so that we will send lot of technical videos to you And apart from this, you can post your comments or queries or anything in our YouTube channel, so that our expert team will answer it. Here is our website and Facebook URL. Thank you from Wikidigi.com.